the national anthem, so I'm hoping I can get through this well today. But thank you all, every one of you, so much for being here. Can you hear me better here? Is this louder? This is I wanted to get a little farther that way, but I want the mic more. All right. I am a proud Kentuckian. I am a faithful Christian. I am a proud big sister. I am a proud to be a Stanford freshman. And most of all, I am proud to be the outspoken daughter of two incredible moms. One day, very soon, I want to be a maid of honor. My name is Kenzie Morrison, and I am honored to be here today on behalf of the Family Equality Council as one of more than six million children of gay parents in this country. I am happy and I am proud to be here, but I am also sad that I need to be. I am sad that my family is still so invisible to the judges in our circuit and the voters in our state that this case had to go all the way to the Supreme Court. I am angry. I am angry that every day people use my own religion that I love so dearly to justify hatred and discrimination against my family. Last week, my Christian friend who lives in eastern Kentucky was beaten brutally in a parking lot by four fellow college students when they found out that he is gay. And most of all, I am sad that even though much has changed since my moms were in college, too much has not. My moms have been in a loving, committed relationship for 24 years and engaged for two decades. Yet there are those who still think they threaten the sanctity of marriage. They taught me the sanctity of marriage. They taught me to be courageous and I must admit prove their own courage when they bravely taught me how to drive. They taught me the power of my voice and also the price of my silence. Today, I refuse to be silent. My sisters, Jillian and Tegan and I know that we have two parents who love us at our worst and will help us become our best. They have taught us family values and conservative family values, I would argue. They have nursed us through sickness. They have volunteered in our school classrooms. They have coached our softball teams and led our Girl Scout troops. They have laughed with us through years of family game nights and also let us know that they do give a lot of help to Santa Claus and the Easter Bunny and the Tooth Fairy. I have spent my entire life arguing that my parents are just as good as any others. The truth is, I think this country would be a much better place if all parents, gay or straight, were as extraordinary as they are. But because they are not even seen as ordinary, because in 2015 my moms are still treated as second-class citizens, because of that, my family is not protected under the law. When I was two days old, I had a bad allergic reaction and was rushed back to the hospital. The doctors refused to treat me for nearly an hour because the mom who brought me to them was not listed on my birth certificate. Second parent adoption is just one of more than a thousand rights that my parents are denied because they cannot get legally married in Kentucky. That discrimination would be unfathomable to any straight family, but it is the daily, terrifying reality for so many families like mine. I am proud to live in a country where every morning millions of children pledge allegiance to liberty and justice for all. that if those children are children of color, if they are gay, if they have gay parents, they know we only mean liberty and justice for some. I am tired of feeling like we don't count. I am tired of only being able to say my moms are as married as they can be. I am tired of being proud of Kentucky, but knowing that Kentucky is not proud of me. And most 
First of all, I am tired of watching the pain in my mom's eyes when they see people like that and they try to explain their relationship to other people, people who often do not understand and do not want to understand. The words, my wife, would need no explanation. That is why marriage matters. There is no other word in our language that displays the same level of commitment. And for those who think that domestic partnership is good enough, let me ask you this. Would you like to be called a domestic resident, or do you want to be called a citizen? The Supreme Court cannot decide today whether or not I have a family. My moms, my sisters, and I, we have always been a family. What they can do, what the justices can and I pray will do, is acknowledge that we are not invisible, that we are valued, and that we count. After all, they should know better than anyone that equality is a self-evident truth. Victor Hugo said, no army on earth has the power to resist an idea whose time has come.